Uh, welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be applying this new JT Real Tape to a couple of our ice rods. I just picked up a new rod, the Black Rain 40 inch. It's gonna be my lake trout and pike rod. Um, so it's got the Tennessee handle on there as you can see. There's no real seat. So we need a way of mounting this to the handle. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do that. People use electrical tape. People use these real bands like this. And these actually work really well on a lighter rod like this. This is my panhandler rod. And um, that secures that reel on there very nicely. But when you start getting into catching bigger fish on those types of rods with these, with these rubber bands, uh, you can get a lot of flex in there. And you can see the reel will come off the the grip there so this reel tape is going to lock that reel on nice and sturdy we're going to be catching bigger fish on this hopefully so we want that reel to have a nice solid connection there and uh, the thing with the JT reel tape uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other companies it's a lot thinner um, as far as you know not being a bulky when as you wrap it up it's uh, pre-tapered. Um, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna link this stuff down in the description below. You can use this on any rod. You can use it on open water rods as well. And there'll be a promo code down in the description below if you want to uh, save a little money on this or any of the JT Outdoor Product rods on their website. So when you take this out of the package, you're gonna get uh, the end wraps. You're gonna get two of these. Uh, you can also use electrical tape, and then you're gonna get the reel wrap itself. Typically what you would do is, is cut this in half, but because this is a longer handle, I'm not gonna cut it just yet. I'm going to uh, cut it when we get towards the end of wrapping this. So we're gonna set the reel on here. You gotta figure out kind of where you want this on your rod. I'm gonna pretty much center it on here. And what you can do is actually put um, some double-sided tape on the bottom of this, or even wrap a, a piece of electrical tape or two just to hold it. All right, so I've gone ahead and just taken one little piece of electrical tape, put my reel right where I want it. I'm gonna remove that once we get our wrap started down there. A lot of the tape that you're gonna buy on the market is not is gonna be just squared off at the end. Uh, the JT stuff is gonna be tapered on both ends, so you don't have to taper it yourself. It's pre-tapered, so you want to peel the backing off your reel tape. This stuff is super sticky. Make a nice locking wrap all the way around the rod here. You just want to make sure that you're overlapping enough so there's no gap in there. Pull it nice and tight, get a nice tight wrap. I'm going to take this tape right off. Don't need that on there anymore. It's okay to lay it down and peel it off if you didn't lay it down correctly or if it bothers you. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's all nice and straight. When you get to the reel, you're gonna have to make a little bit of a weird angle here and then just bring it back to that same overlap that you were doing on the previous ones. Really pull it tight. Just cut it straight. Just like that. And then we take our little tape that they give us here and finish that off. like that. You see we got a pretty tight wrap on there. That reel is locked on there super tight. There's no wiggle room at all. It's nice and solid on there. It's gonna be perfect. This reel is on here so solid with this stuff right now. It's crazy. And if I close my eyes and just grab this thing, you can't feel any thickness difference between the original grip and having the tape on there. Some of the other brand tapes that I've used before are kind of bulky when you get them on there, but this really, you can't even tell 
you can't even really tell that you have tape on there because it's the same exact feeling as this grip. So then the next rod we're gonna do, I'm also gonna try to do one of these smaller guys here. We have on these split grips. This, is gonna, this makes it a little bit trickier. You don't have as much room there, but we're gonna try to do that because I do use this rod for bass and also sometimes lake trout fishing as a second rod. So I'm gonna get these reel bands off here. Get right down there, cut this in half. Save that for another rod. So the trick with this one is that we're gonna start the wrap right underneath where the reel seat is gonna sit and then set the reel on top of it to, to lock it down. I'll show you what I mean here. You can see where the reel was sitting before. I'm gonna start it right there. So the foot of that reel seat is gonna get right down there. Set our reel back on. Right where it was. It's kind of hard to show you. Pull this nice and tight. Nice and tight. So the good thing about this JT Reel Tape is that it has adhesive all the way, all the way around it. Really no way to mess this up. And that's it. Cut that right there. Just pull this stuff nice and tight. It's a nice seamless finish there. With no crinkling or bubbling. Perfect. Just like that. This is going to be better than electrical tape. Electrical tape is going to be super slippery and it gets cold and uh, it's just a better option. This has a lot of adhesive and it's 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 made for it's made for this purpose right here. So you're not going to have any problems with it. Um, like I said, I'm going to link this stuff down in the description below. You can find it on JT Outdoor Products and use the promo code down in the description and I'll save you guys a little bit of money on that. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.